Welcome to the new rolling videos from me, Nick, Mark and George here at Glenmore Lodge. A reliable roll is a great thing to have. Suddenly a cap size is no big deal and we'll be confident to try new stuff out on the water. We can get stuff wrong and find out where the limits are. So for many paddlers, a roll is the first thing they get properly stuck on. The aim of these videos is to help people who are just taking their first steps towards rolling, to guide folks who are struggling, and to be a resource for coaches who are coaching rolling. In this first video, we're looking at the foundations, the stuff that needs to be in place before people can roll. We're going to take a look at water confidence, movement, and briefly, at fitness. You won't see any rolling in this video, that's in the next one, but if you're just about to start learning to roll, or you've tried and got stuck, I'd really encourage you to stick around and watch this video first. So, starting off, building water confidence. Rolling will come much easier if you're relaxed underwater with enough spare brain to be able to orientate yourself and coordinate your movements. You might already be completely at home in the water, part fish, but if you're not, Nick and Mark are about to run through a few challenges that might help you. So firstly, we're just swimming around under the boats and then trying to get our head inside the boat, take a few breaths. We can capsize out of the boat without a deck. And then do it with a deck. We can capsize and have races swimming across the pool upside down. We can hand paddle a boat full of water, which often leads to folks pirouetting that boat, and sometimes that leads to people inventing the hand roll all on their own. We can be upside down in the boat and get rolled back up again. We can capsize and then just hang out upside down there, relax, bang the bottom of the boat when you want rescued. We can make a plan to tap different bits of the boat and then see if we can do that whilst we're underwater. We can play high five underwater where we're actually having to look round and find our rescuer's hand. We can start to play at tea rescues in boats and if you really want a challenge, have two of you both fall in at the same time, see if you can tea rescue off each other. There's loads of challenges out there, be as creative as you like. Go for anything that's getting people to orientate and move themselves around underwater. Most roles require us to control our edge, to rotate our bodies and to hold a nice shape with the blade away out from our body. We also need to be able to feel what our paddle's doing as it sweeps over the water. Good news, everything we do in our boats when we're the right way up needs just the same stuff so we can work on these things whenever we go paddling. Edge, rotation, nice shapes and feeling what the blade's doing. Edge. Whatever boat we're paddling, being in charge of the edge helps us to control the boat and to stay upright. Here's a few exercises. So firstly, just without a paddle, release your inner Shakira and wiggle the boat around. When you've got that going, try and really slow it down. Now try holding an edge. Stable is more important than massive. Now we're going to add in some rotation. Let's go back to that slow rocking, but let's add in a bit of twisting our head to look towards the high side. Finally, let's play with holding shape. So now I'd like you to be a zombie Shakira and adding the arms as well, with the arms staying out well in front of the body. Even try shutting your eyes for a bit and get used to that feeling of rotating from side to side and swapping from edge to edge at the same time. That's going to be a real key movement in whatever role we do. If you're struggling with any of that, make sure you've got a nice upright posture, adjust your boat, make sure you're connected to it at the back band, at the hips, at the knees and at the feet. 
but don't ram yourself in so tight that it's painful to be there. It's also great to get used to the feel of skimming the paddle over the water, keeping that spooned power face down. Firstly, just gently skim the paddle back and forth. Swap sides and go again. You'll need to get just enough angle. Too little and the blade will dive. Too much and it'll grip the water and you'll end up doing a sweep stroke. You'll probably find that it's the wrist closest to the water that does all that clever stuff, setting the angle. See if you can hold one end of the paddle and manage a complete 360 degree spin with the paddle skimming round your boat. For sure, if you're in a sea kayak, that's not going to be so easy. Finally, let's see if we can bring the boat onto more of an edge as we twist the paddle forwards and less of an edge as we skim it back. So let's really twist round and let's focus on that unwinding, flattening the boat off, looking down at the paddle as the paddle sweeps backwards. Training for paddling isn't what this video is about, but there are loads of resources out there. Anything that's using your whole body rather than isolating a particular muscle group and anything that has twisting and bending in it is likely to be barking up the right tree. The At Home Paddle Sports Workouts on the British Canoeing YouTube channel have some particularly devious paddle specific variations. Of course, as with all training, if you think it's damaging you, stop and talk to someone who knows what they're doing. The good news is what whatever craft we paddle and wherever we paddle it, working on water confidence, movement and fitness will make us better in our general paddling as well as better at rolling. See you in part two where we start to build a roll. Hope you've enjoyed our first rolling video, developing those building blocks that are going to set you up for a roll. On the next video, we're going to be developing your roll from scratch. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see some more.